Last night I built a drone that carries a red Komodo. You can see that the mess is still left over over there, but today we need to run it through its paces. So this guy here is the Shen Drones Sicario. The Sicario is Gab 707 and Andy Shen's design to be the ultimate red carrying machine. And like this, it's probably not perfectly set up for it without the anti-vibration plate, which will still have to go on. Before I put a big expensive camera on it, I've got to make sure that it can actually fly. So we're charging up some batteries right now. We're going to take this out into the field and make sure that everything is ready to go. Let's do it. Thanks again, DJI. <laughs> There's a, uh, a decent bit of pedestrian traffic here today because it is a Saturday, but it's also really muddy. And the part of the park that I want to fly on is actually like a for mountain bikes. And it's going to be so muddy that there shouldn't be any mountain bikes out there. So might have to keep an eye out for some people, but should have the place to ourselves. <laughs> Still kind of hiking out to the spot that I have picked for flying this and it is muddier than I even thought in the first place so <laughs> yeah hopefully there won't be anybody back here no maidens over water I've got to learn that lesson So this is the spot that I had in mind. It's not exactly like the greatest spot for a maiden, especially not of something big like this, but it seemed like a nice spot, a good place to do some beautiful flying. So let's just do that. For this GoPro perspective, obviously it's not the intended position for the camera. I'm just using this as like a fun way to shoot the bird that we're making a video about. And then uh, in terms of like center of gravity, the battery is way at the back right now because uh, there's supposed to be camera weight up front so i've got to kind of factor that in while i'm flying it to know that it's not going to fly exactly the way we expect but let's get in the air Holy crap, this thing flies like a champ. Like I, I put my, my thick tune on it 
for my Shendron's thick, and that's all I've done to this. And it, I mean, like by the end of that flight, it was just like, okay, that's any other drone, let's go. Uh, <laughs> that's scary. Because this is designed for big, heavy stuff, and it already flies amazing. Obviously without any big, heavy things, but jeez. All right, we're going for the river now. rest of the flight so I guess I'll just make some little slow-mo b-roll of it flying around it's, it's like uh, okay it works great so something really just interesting happened uh, apparently one of the zip ties that was holding the uh, motor wires broke here and this prop got stuck in the motor wire and the motor was no longer spinning anymore and I managed to bring it back and successfully land it with no problem whatsoever. So unsurprisingly with only eight motors this thing is able to fly and fly well. Look at that. Cool. I mean I knew that already I've had it happen on the thick before where the one of the props broke or got loose or came off or something like that and I landed it with only seven motors, but um, you know, there's proof in the pudding right there that uh, this will fly with only seven motors. What I don't think people realize when it comes to YouTube videos is just how much effort goes into just the thumbnail. Like, sometimes I put effort in, sometimes I fail to do so. This is one of those days where I'm putting in the effort and it requires a down hike to get to that river. So I'm literally like <laughs> trying to get me an expensive camera. This actually this is Winston's camera body, so sorry if I drop it in the water. Uh, but we're just going through all this just to get a picture for a thumbnail. It's ridiculous. Whew, here we go. Luckily for once, I wore the right shoes. Oh, snap. Stop. <laughs> oh, boy. I wasn't rolling, but that was uh, definitely a slip. That almost ended badly. <laughs> oh, we're muddy. Freaking thumbnail. <sighs> Was it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> well, the spot for the thumbnail was very much not worth it. Uh, and now I gotta get back up through it and I'm nervous about <laughs> potentially falling in again. Whew. All right. Here we go. There's not a lot else I can do here without having like the nice camera and everything. So I've got my B Pony Panasonic BGH-1 that's showing up on Monday. So I'll be able to get, then strap that on and we can get that uh, ProRes 10-bit 422 from a cinema camera on board of the drone. So that you don't just have to look at GoPro footage that's post-stabilized and all that stuff right now. So I'll let you see that right out of the box. We'll find a nice spot, hopefully some decent like sunset or something like that. So in the meantime, Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay flying. <laughs>